12 sensors detected. There you go. So that's four, eight, and I got another four laying down here. Before this update, it did not detect them. So it's as easy as that, short story long. Just get the update. I guess the um, the new sensors that they sell, um, it's just a firmware thing. There you go, guys. I hope somebody catches this and doesn't spend hours researching it, just like I did. Um, thanks for watching. Please give me a like so the algorithm knows this information is useful for people. Uh, give me a subscribe if you can. I post random little videos like this. It helps me out. I'm trying to get into more long-form content, maybe show one or two of my projects, the uh, stuff that we do in the shop. Alrighty, guys. Have a great day. So, boys and girls, got myself an Autel Maxi TPMS TS-508. Uh, came in a case like this. And um, it came with eight sensors. So, I had used those sensors up. Um, and I went to my uh, supplier. And I bought a bunch of these new sensors. Same exact ones. They look the same. But they were not registering it. Uh, the scanner itself would not recognize them. Uh, weirdest thing ever. I couldn't make new sensors. As I was running down, I had three of these left. I had made the three that I could, and I started figuring it out. I thought maybe my suppliers, you know, sold me some wrong ones. I thought maybe the warehouse had, you know, messed with the electronics or whatever. Uh, turns out all you need to do is update it. Now, to update it, what you got to do is... You go to Autel's website, you go support, you go software downloads, and you download your Maxi PC suite. Once you got that done, um, once you got that done, you can go right here, and that gets you, oh, sorry, you gotta go in the settings in this, you go here, you go update, Put it into update mode so that it recognizes it. You got to do that or else it won't recognize it. And then you go update. And um, we're in progress right now. We're live. So it looks like we're doing some pretty decent time on these updates here. So that's installed. That's installed. It looks like. It installs new firmware for the sensors, so the new sensors have a different firmware. It's funny how the update progress is out of one. So you're either zero or you're one. You're either not updated or you're updated. So that's a little progress bar right there. And this is live, like I said. We're two minutes into the video, so if this goes for too long, I'll pause it and I'll snap back to it. But it looks like it's downloaded everything, it's just got to install it. Let's see how this all goes down. Right now it is 12.34 a.m. In case I need to pause it, I think I will. It's taking too long. And we're back. Let's... 1237 so it didn't take too long it uh, finished all the updates and then they all disappeared um, so says that go here unplug that current device removed okay we'll close the laptop now <coughs> let's see what we got quick mode and I was working on a Dodge Ram 2017 I believe it was actually let me check something because uh, now the Dodges are Rams let's see if they added a Ram section nope they do not they still keep it under Dodge just like they did before Dodge. 
Oh, this is different. They separated out their rams and their dual rear wheel is separated now. Okay, so that's interesting. They added another section. It used to be just that and that. So they added another one, 19 to 24. So the problem is I got rims off of 2013 that do not work with my 17 because it looks like they split off. 13 is the model year switch over. So we'll go here, we'll go program sensor, auto create one to 16, and I'll just put it by these new sensors that I got from the pack. Well, this is gonna be embarrassing if it doesn't work. It's not detecting them. This is going to be embarrassing. Twelve sensors detected. There you go. So that's four, eight, and I got another four laying down here. Before this update, it did not detect them. So it's as easy as that. Short story long. Just get the update. I guess the um, the new sensors that they sell. Um, it's just a firmware thing. There you go, guys. I hope somebody catches this and doesn't spend hours researching it, just like I did. Um, thanks for watching. Please give me a like so the algorithm knows this information is useful for people. Uh, give me a subscribe if you can. I post random little videos like this. It helps me out. I'm trying to get into more long form content, maybe show one or two of my projects, the uh, stuff that we do in the shop. Alrighty, guys, have a great day.